I just added uh, support for puddles in open land. Uh, let me show you how to, yeah, how to add some puddles. So I'm going, to, I'm going to the landscape tools. All right, and go to paint section and select puddles. I already created the layer info. So this is it and I'm, I can simply paint that. So that's it, right? Now we have puddle and we can paint as we need. So all these puddles are uh, generated using a noise texture and we can uh, yeah, just modify that and it works with uh, any kind of texture. Basically you can put any 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 sort of like texture and uh, convert that into a puddle and it will work without any issues. So see, uh, yeah, like this. So it looks pretty nice. And uh, this even support uh, tessellation as well. So basically displacement. Uh, let me show you how to do that. This is the configuration for the puddle section. Uh, here we have steepness. Uh, right now it's minus 5. So we can actually increase that to like maybe minus 20. So it, it has a like steepness like this. So this is uh, based on the actual uh, uh, displacements and it works uh, pretty nice. I think uh, so usually we don't do tessellation in Unreal Engine. But this is just for a small area so it, it, it will be just fine. So this looks pretty nice. Let me paint a little bit more. I can show you something. Now we have more area with puddles. So now I can uh, change how the puddle, uh, the water level looks like and I can easily tweak these values and then change how the water looks like. This is based on a noise texture, basically a simple pearly noise. So it looks pretty nice and we can uh, configure as we need. Yep, this is it. Uh, enjoy.